Yo, what's up? I'm back. Last thing I uploaded was week 10, which was a failed 16 mile run. Um, it didn't get better from that, I'll say that much. Okay, yeah, so I finished with 14 miles the one week, and then the next week I was supposed to do 16 miles. I started off a week with four, four, seven, and then I did 13 miles on Sunday, which ain't 16 and i just my knee started hurt i think i think my knee was hurting i don't know it was something i can go through the list of excuses of what was wrong with it failed 16 first failed first failed run next week i did five miles five miles i think a six mile run six or seven mile was my it's supposed to be another 16er didn't make it again the following week i mean and then I know I can make excuses, but my knees started killing me. It was absolutely killing me. My right knee, outside of my right knee was, and it, it's better now, but it hurt. it hurt. It actually was not, it went from discomfort to just hurt. I ended up kind of, instead of running, I was running four days a week. And doc, I dropped it down to three. So from then I went six miles, six miles, slow, slow, slow miles. And then I hit my 16 miler. And then the next week following six miles, six miles through the week, Sunday, Sunday was a big day. I hit 20, that was my the longest, That that's my long, longest long run of this training period was 20 miles. It took four, four ever. 20 miles and then now we're like on the taper side I had four three and then another last week finished with 10 miles and then now we're on like the we're 10 days out 10 days out of the marathon so we are today it's very very light so I did three miles today I'll probably do five and then three and then eight on Sunday was my long run and then next week for the marathon it's just Three miles, three miles, walk three miles, I think, and then marathon is Sunday. Pretty nervous, pretty excited. I, I got excited, excitement nerves. I'm focusing on finishing, right? I mean, I think I have six hours. I don't think it'll take me six hours, but I'm focusing on just going forward. I got some video I'll play uh, from my 20 mile run, a couple other runs. On my 20 miles, it was pouring out. It was pouring. The streets were flooding. I started running at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and it was pouring. I mean, it was flooding. It was chaos. Show some video of that. Uh, after that, it's just been pretty smooth. I'm trying not to run as much, but still effectively. I mean, we're so late in the game now that like, any real serious irritation or injury is going to be catastrophic. So you made it this far in your training, you're 10 weeks out for the marathon, chill out, right? All you gotta do is run now. Take it easy this week, next week, taking it easy. Um, I'm not, I don't really know what to expect. I finally, I got my email today from Chicago, from the Bank of America, Chicago thing. And uh, I'm in Corral J. I think my start time is 8:30 or 8 a.m. So I'm in the second wave. Like I said, my this is what do I what do I expect from this marathon? I expect to finish. That's what I expect. I expect to finish 26 miles. And I, I saw a great great quote the other day, and it said, "Comparison is the thief of joy." When you start comparing yourself to other people, like I that's what, like I was like, man, I should be running faster than this. And then I started running faster, and then I started getting more and more hurt, more and more irritated, and it just wasn't working out. This is my second official run race ever. My first race was last year's 5K, and that was the longest distance I ever ran. So my next race I was the mar is the marathon. So um, that's where we're at, and I'm not expecting to break any records. Obviously, I know that. I am just expecting to run 26.2 miles which is an insane thing to say. 
the fact that I was like, yo, I did 20 the other day. I couldn't even, the, lo- the longest I ever ran was five miles prior to this, 16 weeks ago, five miles. The only other race I ran before this was a 5K, which is three miles. Once you start, I start comparing yourself to all these people like on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, and they're like, yo, I'm running. This is my miles. My first mile is eight minutes. My second mile, I'm at seven minutes. My third, like my 14th mile, I'm like, yo, I should be, maybe I should be, no. These people are experienced. I'm not experienced. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going forward. I saw a thing and said Oprah ran the marathon in four and a half hours. And I was like, man, I got to be fast in four and a half hours. Can you imagine running 26.2 miles training for 16 to 20 weeks? Training. You have a life outside of the training. Training for 16 to 20 weeks consistently. Finishing a marathon at 26 miles, which you've never done before. And then to be like, yeah, I know, man. But fucking, you know, Oprah ran it in four and a half. Who cares, man? Who cares? That's what I'm saying. Basically, who cares? Running a marathon is wild. It's an insane thing to do. This is insane. Right? You talk to the average person, like, that's insane. And you start, you're like, that is pretty, yeah. And you go, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't even listen to music. I just go. And they're like, that's insane. Running a marathon is insane. But most importantly, we'll get back to it. I got more stuff. I'll show you some video. Um, And my biggest tip so far is do not eat spicy ramen and then go and run 10 miles. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs>